Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Di and today I am sharing with you all of the fragrances I have warmed in my home over the last week. I am an independent Scentsy consultant, so some of the things you hear me talk about today can be found on my website, which is linked down in the description box below. So, my basket isn't as full this week, so hopefully we'll get through this a little bit faster, especially because I won't have to talk to you about my thoughts on the spring bricks that are getting released on Monday, April 10th. So in case you're interested in picking those up, that's when they are being released. Um, but yeah, as per usual, I'm just going to grab and go. I do have one non-wax item to talk to you about today. And we finished a box of washer whiffs. This is in Fluffy Fleece. Really, really enjoy this one. I actually still have my Fluffy Fleece a fragrance flower sitting right behind the camera because that's where I keep my work computer and so I get a nice whiff of fragrance every once in a while throughout the day and so yes we average about two tubs of washer whiffs per um, laundry liquid I like to use a lot of washer whiffs so yes this is finished and so that will be going away and then let's get into this box so Right off the top here, I have a Pink Zebra Sprinkles. This is in Summer Romance. This says, soft floral notes blowing in warm summer air with touches of romantic sweet amber. So this one, to me, smells like Violet Spun Sugar from Scentsy, um, the Easter collection. I had melted this before um, in the bathroom when I first picked up this fragrance and it's just like a perfumey floral but now that I have melted Scentsy's Violet Spun Sugar this definitely smells like that to me so I did three scoops in my bedroom on a tea light and it was nice and strong and so I probably wouldn't repurchase that one though because I didn't really enjoy Violet Spun Sugar either and it's not really my type of florally fragrance. It's like floral and sweet um, and it's not my preferred type of floral. So I'll just enjoy what I have and I won't repurchase that. Up front here I have a Sassy Girl Aroma. This is in Tropic Nectar. I did this one out here in the open concept. This is freshly strung lays of picake and kika blossoms sweeten the air above notes of freshly poured pog juice and coconut milk for your truly ohana experience. So pog juice is passion orange guava juice. More often than not, if you have flown to Hawaii, your airline might have served you pog juice. Um, I travel home on Hawaiian Airlines um, most often, and I know they serve passion orange guava juice uh, as you're like in the process of landing. And so, yes, pog juice. This I had to get because of the picake. I have been in the Mirage. Um, this is the Mirage uh, fragrance. I'm not sure where. I know it's not the lobby, but it's somewhere else in the Mirage. They had this fragrance. Um, I went to the Mirage when I was a little kid and I don't remember what it smelled like. So when I saw this fragrance, I didn't really pick up on the whole Mirage thing, but I picked up on the Picake. And if you've been with me for a while, you know that Picake is kind of my signature fragrance. It's my favorite of the Hawaiian floral fragrances and it's just like a Hawaiian jasmine. And so I don't often see fragrances that include picake in it. So I had to pick this one up. I used two full rows, so four cubes in each warmer out here in the open concept area. And it was very strong. Now, to me, this is much more of a fruity than a floral fragrance. I cannot pick out the Peacock individually, and that kind of makes me really sad. I get a lot of coconut milk. It's like coconut forward fruitiness with a slight hint of floral. I like this one. I do have another uh, brittle bar of this, 
but it's not what I was hoping for. So I'm just going to enjoy what I have. I don't know that I would repurchase any more of this because I really want that peacock air or even just the floral note to stand out more. But this is very, very coconutty and not what I was looking for. So yeah, I was a little bit let down by this one, if I'm honest. Um, I did another Sassy Girl Aroma this week, and that one was Golden Celebration. So this has notes of fresh citrus and peonies greet you above apple blossom and atlas cedar wood. This is a dupe for the um, 50th anniversary fragrance that's being pumped into the Disney World Resorts. And also, if you missed the Disney Iridescent fragrance, this smells like it. Uh, Disney Iridescent is no longer available, so if you weren't able to club it and still want to try this fragrance, this is a good one to try. This is very, very similar to Iridescent, but it's slightly different. It is slightly different. I think... For me, the wood note comes out a little stronger on this particular one. But it's still really, really good. I quite enjoyed this one. Again, I did this out here in the open concept area. Two full rows and each um, one row in each warmer. And it was very, very strong. Really enjoyed this one. I do have iridescent in my club. And I actually melted that also this week. I did... This in my bedroom, I did a full brick cube, and I really enjoyed this one as well. Um, I was kind of in the mood for a really strong fragrance that day. And for me, this is a strong performer. This one is definitely more heavy on that floral. I can barely smell any woods at all. And so I much prefer the iridescent, and I do actually have this in my club, so... Yeah, if Sensi was ever to lose the licensing, though, I would obviously lose the bar. And so at least I know that Sassy Girl Aroma has a dupe for it. So really, really enjoyed both of those fragrances. Would definitely repurchase. Currently in my bedroom on the tea light, I have a pink zebra going. It's this Tropical Infusion. This is one of the ones that's available in their current spring summer catalog. Tropical fruits, bright pineapple, and sweet white floral. I do not like this particular packaging style. So you can see how much space there is. And my hand does not fit in there very well. So it makes it a little bit difficult. Whereas their other packaging looks more like this. It's much wider. And obviously there's not as much um, empty space. And I much prefer these bags. This one I don't like. And I'm hoping they're not reverting to this style. Because I've gotten a couple of their summer fragrances that are in bags like this. And I don't enjoy this, this style. But anyway, back to the fragrance. This one. This one is very, very fruity. I can definitely get that pineapple. I don't get too much floral at all. It's very pineapple and there's like passion fruit or papaya. Some kind of other tropical fruit in there. This one's good. Don't think I'd repurchase though, but I am enjoying it. It's pretty strong in my bedroom. So that is that one. I did show you this one a little earlier and that is Vanilla Vibes. This is Creamy Coconut, Vanilla, and Ocean Woods. I believe this one is also available in their current spring summer catalog this one is very very vanilla coconut i don't get too much woods but that's okay because i don't really enjoy wood fragrances um this was nice it's about a medium in my bedroom three scoops on a tea light i probably wouldn't repurchase that one though <laughs> Just because it feels a little bit basic to me. But, yeah. I am finding that I am being very, very picky this year in regards to 
the types of fragrances that I'm thinking that I would repurchase. Um, I'm just not really feeling a lot of the fragrances uh, this summer. So, yeah, I'm in a bit of a funk. But anyway, I did this one. This is a Walter and Rosie. This is Harambe Lemonade. Walter and Rosie does their fragrances inspired by Disney parks and resorts and movies and things like that. And so I'm not sure what this one's from, but this is basically a watermelon lemonade fragrance. I did one cube in the smaller bathroom, and this is a really nice watermelon lemonade fragrance. However, it was pretty light and it only lasted 24 hours. So I'm going to enjoy what I have. I do have other watermelon lemonade fragrances that I do enjoy. And, and so, yeah, that one was good though. Bamboo Yuzu, also in our smaller bathroom. We did one cube in the mini warmer there. Really enjoy this one. This is from the Bring Back My Bar last summer. Nice, fresh. Really enjoy this one. It's in my club. It's a particular favorite of my daughter's. Uh, I did this one in my bedroom on the tea light. This is Cozy Cashmere and Pine. This is one of the uh, harder wax melts from Yankee. It's blended with coconut and soy wax. So these uh, wax melts actually snap when you break them. And they're like just really, really hard. This is not a favorite fragrance of mine. Um... It's enjoyable, but it's a lot more like ambery. That cashmere. There's not enough pine. So, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy what I have of that. Uh, Scentsy. We've got some Ruby Nectarine here. This is available in the current catalog. This is like red Ruby apple and nectarine i really enjoy this one this is super strong performer for me i actually did this one in a mix so i did one cube of this to half a brick cube of the pink apple and nectarine that's coming out in the spring bricks tomorrow uh, this one is very perfumey for me it's still very perfumey <laughs> I wanted to bring out some of those like fruity notes because I much prefer uh, the fruity notes in this particular blend. I'm not really a big fan of poppies as a floral and that's what this has. And so I wanted to bump up the fruit. And so I thought by adding the ruby nectarine, since it's the same types of fruits that might help it and it definitely did. Um, the Ruby Nectarine, every time I melt that one, I forget how much I enjoy it. It's one of those ones where I look at it and I'm just like, eh. But then you melt it and it's like, oh, this one's really good. And it's just one of those like ones that I have in my stash that I overlook a lot. And so I'll definitely be using it more, um, especially with this brick. This was a nice combination. It definitely helped tamper down the perfuminess of this brick for me and it made it much more enjoyable. I will say that the longer this one melted though, like on day like two and a half and three, this one, the floral notes definitely started to come out a lot more. So I would definitely do this one out here in the open concept. I think it would hold up with the Ruby Nectarine. And so I'll definitely be trying that again. I also want to try like bumping up the Ruby Nectarine just a bit, maybe two cubes to a half brick and see what that is like. Because when I had originally done this mix, I only did the one cube of Ruby Nectarine because I thought it would overtake the, the brick, but I think it should be able to hold up. So I'm going to try it again. It's a good way to, to get me through this brick for sure. And I actually really enjoyed that combo. Not enough to purchase another brick of the Ruby, um, of the Pink Apple and Nectarine. But I would definitely be purchased the Ruby Nectarine. And will continue to do so during the current catalog. So I quite enjoyed that combo. We tried one of the newer fragrances from the Scentsy catalog in the open concept. And that is Mango Matcha. 
I was really concerned about this one because of the green tea note, uh, matcha note. This to me though, just smells like a really ripe mango. Really ripe mango, that's all I smell. I don't smell matcha at all. And I dislike matcha, so yes. That's what made me really scared about this one. We did three cubes in each warmer out here in the open concept area and it was a nice strong medium out here. I would definitely repurchase this one. I quite enjoyed that. Today in the open concept, we have speechless sorbet from Rose Girls going. I have three small cubes. These cubes are much smaller than um, some of my other bags. So I have three of these small ones in one warmer and I have one of these like larger size ones in another warmer. This is Mango, Satsuma, Coastal Kale, and Raindrop. So it's basically Rose Girl's Speechless Blend plus Mango. This was one of her newer blends like early this year, I think. I got it on a pre-order. This is really good. Speechless is one of my favorite Rose Girl's blends like ever. I have tried so many of her Speechless blends and I quite enjoy every one of them. And this one is no exception. I quite enjoy this one. It's about a medium out here in the open concept, but I have it in my warmers as opposed to under my candle lamp and on a tea light, which is how I normally do Rose Girls and get the best performance. But I'm starting to try to fiddle um, with some of my vendor wax to see if it'll work in my warmers because as we all know, when summertime comes around, and the air coolers go on, I tend to lose a lot of fragrance when I am melting. And so I'm trying to, you know, experiment now instead of when the time actually comes to turn on the machine. Um, but yes, I still need to fiddle around with this, but I do find that using less wax in the warmers helps because the wax gets hotter. And so the Rose Girls works better in my warmers when there is less wax. So I quite enjoy that one. I actually have two bags because I knew I was gonna enjoy it. That's my track record with any of their speechless blends. And I am really enjoying that one, definite repurchase. We did this one out here in the open concept. This is Mountain Sunset, also another new one from the current Sensi Spring Summer Catalog. This is like coconut with floral. I think Bluebell is the floral. I'm not familiar with Bluebells in person. I've never smelled one in my life. But I can definitely like perceive some kind of floral in here. That being said, to me, this smells very similar to Kukui and Coconut, which is also in the current catalog. It's a repeat from last year's summer collection. And I do enjoy Kukui and Coconut more. Uh, and it's a better performer for me. This was like a medium out here in my open concept area. Kukui and Coconut tends to be a medium strong. And so I will be using Kukui and Coconut instead of the Mountain Sunset. But this was nice. It just wasn't as good as Kukui and Coconut for me. So I will use those last two cubes happily currently in my bedroom in the Nova Warmer. I have uh, Sensepiration's Mango Margarita. This is in my club. I had two cubes left in this clam, and so I decided to put those in my Nova, Nova Warmer. This is really nice. I just really enjoy that, like, citrusiness with the mango. Yeah. Now, I'm not somebody who drinks very often. I maybe have one or two drinks a year. And so I don't mind that this doesn't like smell boozy. In fact, I prefer that it doesn't, but this is really nice. I quite enjoy this one. I did put it in my club and am enjoying that one in my room. It's about a medium. On the tea light in my bedroom earlier this week, I did Yankee Candles Cliffside Sunset or Sunrise, <laughs> Cliffside Sunrise. This is like a tropical fruit medley type thing. But to me, it smells like chocolate. 
with a slight hint of fruit on cold and on warm. Yeah, it smells like fake, fake chocolate. I don't like it. And this is definitely not going to be a repurchase for me. And it was like a medium strong on the tea light. It was not good. Did not enjoy that one. I also did this one on the tea light, which is cucumber mint cooler. This one was pleasant. This is not really like green cucumbery, but you get that like freshness and the aquaticness of the cucumber. It's a little bit perfumey. The mint is barely there. I would say it's like a spearmint. And it's just really fresh. I will happily use the rest of this. I don't know that I need any more of it though this summer, but this was rather refreshing and I quite enjoyed it. And the master bath, we did a Goose Creek Volcanic Sunrise. This is like a fruit punch type fragrance. It almost smells similar to Scentsy's Paradise Punch. Paradise Punch is my favorite Scentsy fruit punch fragrance. And I did have it in my club last summer. Really enjoyed the fragrance. However, these wax melts did not last very long. I find that with the Goose Creek wax melts, they don't last very long. I get much better performance out of their chopped candles and out of just burning their candles in general. Their candles for me are pretty strong performers. And so I would repurchase this one in like a candle, but I don't really need to because I've got Paradise Punch from Scentsy and it's currently available in the spring summer catalog. So I'll happily just reuse that one. In the smaller bathroom this week, we also did Country Candles, um, Grapefruit and Rosemary. This, we did one cube in the smaller bathroom. This is new to their spring summer lineup. And this to me is pretty much equal grapefruit and rosemary. It's okay. It's not my favorite. I won't repurchase, but it's pleasant for me to smell. So I won't repurchase, but I enjoyed while it was melting. Um, in the open concept, we did six cubes of Soak and Rays, which is currently in the spring summer catalog from Scentsy. This is orange blossoms, and I'm not quite sure what else. I quite enjoy this one. This was about a medium out here in the open concept. I really want this bar to get stronger, like a lot stronger. <laughs> This is the type of fragrance that I want to, like, punch me in the face. I need this to be stronger. Like, I enjoy it, but I need it to be stronger. <laughs> so this is definitely going to be a candidate for clubbing at the end of the season. But I need it to be stronger. So I do have another uh, bar of this that I'm, like, holding to, like, see if any curing will help it. So I hope that it will, but this one has already been curing for a little bit. Um, oh, I can actually see a date on this, 2-21-23. So the six cubes that I melted were over a month old, um, and it still wasn't strong enough. But I enjoy this fragrance. I don't get a sunscreen smell. Um, I know several people I've heard do. But I'm not getting that. I'm getting a nice orange flower, orange blossom fragrance, and I quite enjoy that. So definitely a contender for my club at the end of the season. In the master bath right now, I have a combo going of the Big Hero 6 Would You Like a Hug fragrance, which is like a berry and toasted marshmallow type fragrance. I want to love this bar. I really, really do. Uh, but it's that toasted marshmallow, I think. I get a really, really burnt note from this. I've noticed that with the newer bars that they've been shipping, I don't smell that on cold. So maybe I should try to melt one of those. But I am heavily considering taking this one out of my club. Because that toasted note kind of makes it unenjoyable. So, yeah. Anyway, I've got three cubes of this going in the master bath. 
And to try to lighten up that toasted note, I did one cube of Angel Experiment 624. I should have done just two and two, but I only had three cubes left in this clam, and I didn't want to just hold on to the one cube in the clam, so I just used it all. And then I used one cube of Angel 624. And this is like a goji berry type fragrance. It's really, really sweet. This one is also in my club. And actually, would you like a hug? Ate this. <laughs> I can't smell this at all. So I'm definitely going to try this again. And I'm going to use equal cubes and see if that makes a difference. But yeah, it's nice. Um, it still has this toasted note from the Big Hero 6. But yes, I'm heavily considering taking this one out of my club right now. And then the last uh, wax melt that I have is Tropic Nectar, which is another of the brand new fragrances from the Spring Summer Catalog from Scentsy. This one is another fruit punch type fragrance. It's okay. It's not my favorite. I've already told you that Paradise Punch is my favorite. And so, yeah, I prefer Paradise Punch to this one. It was enjoyable. We used the entire thing. It was about a medium out here in the open concept. And so I probably won't be repurchasing any more of that this season either. But yeah, I'm finding that I'm being very, very picky about the fragrances this year. I haven't found very many that I would repurchase or I'm considering putting in my club, which is a little bit upsetting. Um, but I do have some candles to talk to you about, so let me clear this off and I'll be right back. Okay, just three candles to talk to you about. We did the Country Candle Pineapple Rita. Pineapple Rita. Um, I believe this fragrance just came out in the Kringle Candle line under the new Three Wick Soy formula as Pineapple Lemonade, if I'm not mistaken. I was going to pick up Pineapple Lemonade because I didn't know at the time that it was this. Um, but when I heard that it was this, I decided not to because I hadn't even burned this one yet. And so decided to dig into this one. I had gotten it in one of the Kringle sales last year. This is definitely like herbal and pineapple. Is there like cilantro or something in this? I remember a long while back there was like a Yankee candle that was pineapple and cilantro. And that one was more pineapple forward with just a slight hint of cilantro for me. This one to me, it's almost like the cilantro, if that's what it is, is like front and center with the pineapple in the back. It was okay. Um, pretty strong performance out of this one. And yeah, I don't know that I repurchased this one. Just because I much prefer the pineapple to be front and center. But it's okay. I was actually, the night that I had um, pulled this one out, going to burn the mango nectar. Which I also have in the Country Candle paraffin jar. Um, and am I not mistaken in saying that the mango nectar is the mango lemonade in the soy three wicks? I believe it is. Um, and so I didn't pick that one up either. But uh, I had seen just a small little crack up top here. And it only was in the front. It didn't go all the way through. And so I ended up just melting the candle down and turning them into wax melts. So, yeah, I did that and feel much safer because I didn't want to risk trying to burn that. And so, yeah, we did that one. And then I did this Kringle Candle Three Wick Soy. This is in the Wildflower Bliss fragrance. It's very, very beautiful. Um, this one is Honeysuckle, Jasmine, Orange Flower, Citrus, Wood, and Musk. So this one does have the scent notes on the bottom. This is what it looks like. Oh, this is just a gorgeous Honeysuckle forward um, fragrance. I can definitely smell the jasmine. I don't smell like the orange blossom. Very heavy on the honeysuckle jasmine. That's pretty much all I get from this one. Super strong. Super strong. 
we melted about a quarter, burned about a quarter. I absolutely love these new jars. They're so pretty. Great performer. Would definitely purchase that fragrance again. It was just really, really lovely. And then I did this one from Goose Creek. This is India from their World Traveler collection. This fragrance is Sugared Guava. This one does not have scent notes on the bottom. But it definitely has like that guava fragrance. It gives off that tropical fruity vibe really really nice this one unfortunately though is suffering a little bit from puny wick syndrome um i'm not quite sure why but it did pull out all the way and it was going nicely fragrance throw was excellent as i usually get from goose creek candles and yeah quite enjoyed that one i would definitely repurchase this one as well and so that is everything that i have gone through in the last week so sensi news the spring bricks like i said are coming out on monday april 10th so if you're interested in picking those up they will be available then um i know that sensi consultants are getting early access to the father's day collection which is coming out in may but i'm going to pass on that one the two fragrances don't sound like they'd be down my alley I don't really enjoy masculine type fragrances to begin with, though I am curious about one of them. So I may try one of them, but I think I want to hear what everybody else says about it first before I do dive into that. I am, however, interested in the new um, warmer that's coming out for Father's Day. So I will probably pick that one up with everybody else <laughs> in May, but yeah. I will say that now that I'm not like participating in the wax melting challenge, it's a little bit strange not having that prompt to tell me like what to use. <laughs> I don't know. Like it's, I've always been like a mood like melter, just melt whatever I want, whenever I want. But after doing that challenge, like exclusively for the month, I'm, I'm just feeling a little bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of strange. And so it's kind of been really a lot more difficult for me to pick out what I've been wanting to melt every day. And so, yeah, it's been kind of interesting. But I, I am like trying to go through my collection and melt some things that I haven't melted. Um, especially like new things that I purchased that have been sitting for a while because... I haven't gotten to it for one reason or another, and so I'm enjoying doing that. Um, I think I might have mentioned, if I haven't, on these particular videos, but I am traveling at the end of April. So I think there will only be one more of these uh, for the month, and then I won't be able to post any more for the last couple weeks of the month because I won't be melting stuff. But... Yeah, um, let me know down in the comments below what you've been melting. Have you found a like go-to fragrance for the spring summer season yet? Are you still testing the waters? Will you be picking up any of the spring bricks? I would really love to know. And if nothing else, and you'd just like to let me know that you were here, if you could leave me a flower emoji down in the comments below for the beautiful wildflower bliss candle um that would be greatly appreciated and would really help me out and that will do it for me today so i hope you're all doing great i hope you're all safe and healthy and until next time take care and smile always bye